Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about the topic graph based testing. Already in the uh, previous video, I have explained you about uh, what is meant by black box testing, uh, what type of questions we need to answer first and uh, what type of errors we can find out with the help of the black box testing and all we have seen in the uh, previous video. Kindly find out uh, that video with the help of uh, black box testing techniques and all. So let's go to the next topic that is uh, graph based testing methods. So how the testing can be done here uh, with the help of graphs. Graph means we know that uh, each and every graph will consist of nodes will be there and generally links will be there, right? So here uh, what I am going to treat means, so uh, here each and every node I am going to consider like object. Each and every node I am going to consider like object here and each and every link uh, it shows uh, it shows the connectivity from one node to the other node. It shows the connectivity from one node to the other node here. So, uh, let me give, uh, see, this is the general uh, diagram of the graph based testing method. Uh, so, from the examination point of view, you just uh, draw this diagram. See, how many objects are there here? Uh, three objects are there. One is object 1, one is object 2 and on, another one is object 3. See, I may place the directed links or uh, I can give the parallel links or uh, depending upon the scenario, I can give the undirected links also here. So, if for each and every link, I may give the link weights. Link weights means nothing but uh, if, you, if you want to represent any conditions from one object to the other object, I can show that conditions also here. And uh, next one is, uh, see, uh, they have given one example for this one that is, uh, uh, suppose if I am having any word documents are there. Once if I am going to click any word documents, how I am going to get my, once after clicking that new file, it has to generate the blank document, right? So this is the condition, this is my activity. So once I am going to click this new file, automatically the new document window has to be generated. In what time it has to generate? This is my link weight here, that is generation time, it must be always be less than 1.0 seconds, right? And uh, if you observe here, see the document window, again it has to, in that window what we will do usually, I will write some few text with some colors, borders, dimensions, rulers, adjustments, frames, everything I am going to do it, right? So all these things I am going to represent in the document here. So what type of attributes it will be containing here? These are the attributes of your document window. I may have the start dimensions, I may have the ending dimensions. I may have the text colors, I may have the background colors and all. And see, if you see this particular new document window, so no direct, uh, no directions are there here between this new file document and the new text document here. It can be represented as the text document. Just, that means how we can do the testing with the help of representations of the graphs for your given objects, right? So this is one type of uh, testing method where we, we can use it in our black box testing technique that's all for today guys i hope you like this video guys those who are going to watch for the first time please like share and subscribe my channel guys